you know, my wife and I have been very involved in the community. I've been a dealer here in Emerald for 34 years. And, you know, when I first came to Emerald, you know, I knew that that was something we needed to get involved in. And especially the last 10 years and even more focused the last five years on getting involved with encourage employees to get involved on committees and so forth. Um, trying to, now we're picking one uh, nonprofit here in Emerald every month to support. And when we say we support them, we really get on their bandwagon. They may have a special event coming up that month. We pour all our resources into that in terms of, you know, some money, so, but mostly people and getting people here excited about helping a, a specific nonprofit for, you know, 30 days. And then we'll choose another one. We have a marketing committee and a lot of people involved, and it's not just my decision, it's a lot of people here's decision. And because we look at what's happening in the community and we try and make the most impact we can to help the community. But we also, you know, I look at it as a whole different way of approaching uh, the needs and also helping the people here bring more traffic in. You know, car dealerships are sort of not so approachable. And this is a way, if, there, if we can put a face uh, before someone comes in, they say, I know so and so, they help me with our special event, then it makes us much more approachable. So it's really great about the partnership is how they engage with us in a variety of different ways. Anybody can give money, of course, and, and we need that, but their staff, um, their their local store has really engaged with not just us as an organization, but our families and you know hosting the wish party and adopting a wish and sending that child off on their experience is, is really remarkable. And it's it, it strengthen, strengthens the partnership when um, when someone like Street really engages at all all levels with, with Make-A-Wish. Women who have become homeless for any reason uh, can come here, get the support, the love, the encouragement that they need and the skills um, to become self-sufficient and productive in, in our community. Community support from the street really helps so much. It gives uh, the women hope that there are people in the community that care. The Amarillo Chamber of Commerce is so fortunate to have companies like Street involved in our community, not only for what they do for the chamber, but for what they give back to the community as a whole. I mean, they're very involved in the chamber and our activities, but so many other organizations in the community as well. Uh, Joe's formerly served on United Way. They both were named Man and Woman of the Year by the Globe News in separate years. Um, and you don't get those awards because just of who you are. It, ha it has to do with what you are involved with in the community, how much you're giving back, how much that you are setting an example for what businesses should be like. It's a young girl that lives about 30 miles from us that's battling cancer, was having all kinds of trouble, and we were hearing that the family was just having a hard time making those trips to Houston, Texas to go down there and get the chemos. So we just put together a little sales competition. Every time you sold a car, you got a throw, and then you got a deal. I put a dunking booth out in front of the store, got great recognition out of it. News picked it up, presented them with a nice $2,000 check. Hey, it wasn't, you know, it wasn't a ton of money, but you know what, it was we raised every penny of it. There was no funds given from the store. The employees raised it. We, we took care of it, got it out there. We rented a ducking booth for 180 bucks. We spent a little bit of money. We had some sodas, but the whole community got so involved and we had a blast. We, we love our community and we want to do everything that we can to support it, to make the quality of life better for people here in this community because we know if the quality of life is better, then more businesses, more people want to move here. And also, you know, we make a great living here. We do a good business and we want to show that the uh, community, it's not just about selling cars and pedaling the metal, but we also want to help like I say, make life better. And also there's a lot of needs in this community, as there is any community. There's all kinds of social issues and so forth that need to be addressed and we can help with our staff and some funds here to help a lot of these nonprofits who, who need our help.